hi, good day everyone. Teacher Lin is back again for another topics to discuss from our book Side by Side, third edition. So are you now ready to learn more expressions and sentences? That's great. Let's open our page. So we have our reading again. Okay, look at that picture. Oh, what do you think happened? All right, so an accident. Let's start. I saw an accident this morning while I was standing at the corner of Park Street and Central Avenue. A man in a small red sports car was driving down Park Street very fast. While he was driving, he was talking on his cell phone. At the same time, a woman in a large green pickup truck was driving along Central Avenue very slowly. While she was driving, she was drinking a cup of coffee and eating a donut. While the woman was driving through the intersection, the man in the sports car didn't stop at a stop sign and he crashed into the pickup truck. The man and the woman were very upset while they were shouting at each other. The police came. Fortunately, nobody was hurt badly. Okay, for the verb, we have come, came. Reading checkup. Okay, true or false? You can also say maybe if the answer is not in the story. Number one, the accident happened at the corner of Park Street and Central Avenue. Is that true or false? Very good. So let's write the answer before the number. True. The man was driving a small green sports car. Oh, it's false, right? It's red. Number three, while the woman was driving, she was talking on her cell phone. Oh, it's false. She was eating donuts and drinking coffee. Number four, the man likes donuts. Maybe. We don't know. It's not there. The sports car crashed into the truck. Is that true? Yes, that's true. And number six, the woman was driving to work. Maybe. The police came after the accident. Oh, yes, it's true. Okay, how about you? Tell about an accident you saw, okay, like you witnessed. Where were you? What happened? And was anybody hurt? So you can share it to the class. All right. Let's continue to our next page, pronunciation did and was. First, you listen, then say it. I'm gonna read, our teacher is going to read it first. What did he do? All right. Next. Who did he go with? What was he doing? And where was she driving? Now you have to say it first, then you listen. Alright, how did he hurt himself? Where did he fall? Where was she going? And where did it happen? Alright, those questions are the questions that you may ask about the accidents that you saw or witnessed. Okay, now let's do the chapter summary. The grammar imperatives. What was I or what was he, she, it doing? Okay, for the plural form, what were we doing? Okay, for the subjects I, he, she, or it was eating. We, you, they were eating. Reflexive pronouns we have. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they took a walk by myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, yourselves, and themselves. 
the wild closes, I lost my wallet while I was jogging through the park. He caught himself while he was driving or shaving. Key vocabulary. Alright, these are the list of the verbs. Okay. We have attend, bite, break into, burn myself, crash into, cut myself, deliver, drop, faint, fall, get a flat tire, get off, get on, get out of, hurt myself, lose, open, poke myself, practice. Spill, stop, take a test, take a walk, and trip. Alright, so I think that's it for today. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed our exercises and activities for today. This has been Teacher Lin, and I'll give you more topics in the coming days. Goodbye!